Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another video for you guys here today. Today we are in the game of Rock. That's right, Rock. This is a game over on Kickstarter, actually. It's uh, not even like fully released yet, uh, but it's a game that I checked out over at PAX uh, East when I was there. And I gotta say, this is one that I'm really looking forward to. I know right now it might not look like much, but this game is going to be pretty pretty awesome so what's cool about rock is it's it's a survival game based on mars so you see we've got some tornadoes around here there's a uh, structure just loaded in over there um you, as you can see this is a pre-alpha demo um like i said it, it's very very early on and they are running a kickstarter for this game so if you want to check it out there'll be a link to the kickstarter down below there's 15 days left to go and uh, they're about a quarter of their way, a uh, little less than a quarter of the way to their, their goal. So if you guys want to go over and support the game, that would be awesome. I'm looking forward to this game. I'm personally going to back this game. Um, I've never backed anything on, uh, on Kickstarter before ever, so I think this will be a good one to start with. But yeah, it's a moon or a Mars based survival game where you can actually like build. So I have some tiles here that I can kind of work with. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any spots that I can place the stuff, but we can come up here. Um, oh yeah, there you go. You saw, saw that popped up there for a second, but you can see like someone, uh, they, they pre-built this into the, into the server, into the world here. And you know, there's, there's these windows and there's like support pillars and stuff like that. Um, there's all kinds of really cool stuff. We can jump, you know, there's like light and gravity. Uh, they do have quite a few plans for this game. So, um, let me, let me go over some of that stuff kind of as we walk around, uh, tile system, as you can see, you can build and wire and pipe your habitat. So what's cool about that is, uh, you can, you can have a thing like a generator and we can put the generator down over here and then you have a light that you can put down, say like over here. And then you have wires. Now what's cool about this is the wires actually go inside the floors. So there's no, um, there's no like external wiring or anything like that. So it's actually really cool to see that. And you see that light kicked on as soon as I connected that up and there's just, you know, the wires in the floor. So I find that to be really, really neat and really cool. And, uh, there's even like, if we pop out a tile here, you can, um, I'm pretty sure you can do this. I haven't tried it yet, but you can actually like run up walls as well, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Let's see, number four, yep, and the light, yeah, and it, it popped up right there. So how cool is that that you can run all of your systems through the floor and everything's, you know, kind of taken care of for you. So uh, there's a pressurization system. So if we go ahead and go inside here, you'll notice that there is one door. And I'm going to fill up my oxygen here real quick. Um, a lot of these mechanics are going to change down the road and everything. But uh, so you can actually like pressurize your, your area here. So as soon as I get my oxygen up, you can just see there's stats you got to keep up. And you have like food and oxygen and suit power and pressurizations and all that stuff. Uh, if I go ahead and start that, you'll see our pressure's going up and we are pressurizing this room. Now, if I open this door, I'm sure maybe this room is pressurized as well. Uh, yeah, this room might actually be finished. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be. Uh, nope, nope. Our pressure just went back down. So yeah, it's no longer pressurized. Even if we come down into here, um... Our pressure is not it, but you know, you could, what, what's cool about that is, you know, you have to kind of maintain your base. So if you are going to expand and build on your base, you've got to, you've got to keep that pressure in mind and you've got to be able to work with that. Uh, use the power generator, provide electricity to basic devices, lamps and pumps. That's all in there, all in the game right now, but I'm sure they're going to add much, much more in the future. They have experienced the uh, threats of Mars, huge cinematic disasters. You know, we saw the sandstorms that are happening out there right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's, you know, all kinds of other stuff. We can probably go ahead and turn on this pump as well. So let's maintain earth pressure. And I don't know if that's going to have enough pressure in this room, but I, I think it'll can keep our oxygen from going down when the room is actually pressurized. So that's really cool. A uh, bit of crafting, craft a door for your airlock on a workbench. Uh, you got 
awesome views and everything. Um, there will be um, like multiplayer. So right now there is a local network uh, host or support. So, you know, it's basically land based uh, land co-op. Um, and there's, you know, other things that you can kind of, you know, do. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, but I, I'm sure that they'll do multiplayer in the future. They're currently working on a polished character, uh, additional survivor stats, so hunger, thirst, radiation, temperatures, uh, harvesting mechanics and crafting systems, uh, combat systems with PVE and even AI or uh, PVE a with AI. Improvements of the map, landmarks, day-night cycle, weather, and uh, some more polished textures and everything. In-game programming system, which sounds really cool. And they're going to add tons of new um, items and devices as well that you'll be able to work with. Uh, the dev that I met at PAX was super excited about this game and uh, definitely was interested in it. Let's go ahead and take a look around here. We've got, you know, a tornado and everything up here. And uh, it's just really, really cool. Uh, just want you guys to know that they did send me a copy of this game, uh, but it was not, you know, it's not sponsored or anything like that. Oh man, I'm getting in the, I'm sucked into the storm. Um, but yeah, it's, this is all my own opinion and everything. This is not, you know, if by any way influenced by them, except for the fact that they have an awesome game. Um, it is pre-alpha, so the game actually did just crash on me there, but no big deal. Um, yeah, if you guys want to head on over to their Kickstarter, please do. Um, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video and you would like to see some more footage once the game gets a little further progressed. And uh, my name is Drax, 